Mr. By the Mile, your home for discussions based on my knowledge and experience in trucking the red pill and survival. Yes, I got quite a shiner right here, a little Mount Vesuvius. <clears throat> it is obvious and apparent. I am one of the most hated truck drivers, and it became even more apparent when I jumped in this live stream today on TikTok. I'm, sometimes I scroll through and I check out especially non-union content, see what they're talking about and <clears throat> all that whole deal. I was talking about, you know, how I got almost 5K subs on YouTube. I was mentioning the free health care, the pension, all this stuff. And it was a group of four people that were in this live stream. <clears throat> and what's crazy to me is how negative that they were once they found out that I was union. And the woman, which was the host of this group, is really the one that, you know, attacked first. It was, I think, two girls and two guys. And uh, none of them showed their faces on this live stream. They just showed, I think one, I think the, the, the host, which was a female, was parked on the side of the road in actually a pretty dangerous spot. That's not somewhere that I would stop. They were on the side of a very busy highway. And you could tell it was like a Volvo or something like that based on the hood mirror. And the other two, you could only see their profile photos, which was nothing really. Um, I think one of them had their actual face on there. And when I checked their profiles, and you know, obviously they had content, but their profile photo, you know, no photo, no real name, just monikers, you know what I mean? Like Mr. By the Mile. So when I started bringing all this stuff up to them, uh, like I said, the girl was the first, you know, to become real negative about it. And then the guy jumped in and was like, yeah, the company is probably the one paying for your health care. Oh, no, she said that. The company is probably the one paying for your health care. And I'm like, yeah, don't you want a company to pay for your health care? Why should you have to pay for it? And then the guy, being a simp, he jumps in to defend her. And he says, yeah, and when you're non-union, you'd get to select your health plan. And I told him, I'm like, I'm sorry, but straight up, since you guys are being disrespectful, y'all's health care sucks. <laughs> Because before I got to that point, they were saying, you know, unions suck. And they, like I tell you guys all the time, they were a part of a union. Which union? I don't know. But the fact that she knew that the company pays for the health care, I'm thinking maybe she was, you know. It, it sounds like some things that she said in there, she may have been once a sister of the IBT. I don't know. I was about to ask her if she was talking about the IBT. You know, she was a member of the International Brotherhood of Teamsters. But they blocked me. And I didn't say very much. Like I told them, hey, you know, as line drivers, we, I mean, we get paid to sleep in the hotels. Oh, you couldn't pay me all the money in the world to be in a day cab. And I'm just like, what? It's just all the basic ignorant crap that salty non-union laborers say. They sound like robots. That's the funny thing. They all say the same thing. They all sling the same crap. And you're going to hear all that same stuff. And when you're non-union, and this is all you're hearing every single day, you just kind of, you kind of become programmed. And you can thank corporate America for instilling that mentality into all of you that are seeing this video for the first time and who are not union or maybe just went union for the first time. There's nothing wrong about being a union man or woman. There's nothing wrong about asking for something that you rightfully deserve as a laborer. I mean, these companies are making billions every year and what are you getting paid? Like I've said so many times before, and I was gonna try to tell them, but they blocked me, all right? The truth hurts. Obviously, I struck a nerve in them. So, like you've heard me say time and time and time again, <laughs> if companies, okay, for example, a company like ABF Freight, barely making a couple billion in a year, <laughs> can afford paying a laborer you know, over 16 and a half thousand a year, no pension, $2,100 a month in healthcare and, you know, a, a decent wage. Then how the heck is it 
that these other companies, without paying nothing else, no healthcare, no pension, no nothing, are only paying people 34, 35 an hour, and then these guys that are over the road, what, 80 cents a mile, maybe? UPS is getting well over a dollar and six cents a mile, you know, for these guys that are on the road. So, I mean, <laughs> hey, <laughs> it is what it is. At first, I was just going to let it go, but I, I felt, I just felt compelled to make this video about that. Be very careful on TikTok with these truck drivers, especially when they're non-union. They will fool you. And, um, you're just going to be bouncing from one company to another when you're non-union. <laughs> Even as a union man or woman, you know, yeah, the time might come where you might get laid off. Every union man and woman has gone through it. It's going to happen eventually. And that's a flaw in the system, not in the union. The fact that union men and women are the ones that face all the opposition should tell you something. The ones who fight and have to fight the most. That's probably where the right answer resides. You know, if you have it too easy, you know, there's a saying that goes, if, if you are enduring an easy life, it's because <laughs> the devil doesn't want to disturb you. You're doing exactly what it is he wants you to do. That's why you're experiencing so much peace. For those of you who believe in that sort of thing. But it's just a saying, okay? Why don't you stand up and start fighting for what's yours? And what you deserve. <laughs>